So what is going on, you, all of YouTube? It's the Piano Guy. I'm at the house, but not in the house, but I'm in the house. You know, metaphorically speaking. So check this out. I got a story to tell you. It's an excursion, a trip, a journey. Let's go on this journey together as I tell you what happened today. So, first of all, I was asleep and I was awakened by a phone call. The phone call was a buddy of mine. He needed to get into the building because he had left his keys or he couldn't find his keys. He knew I had keys, so he called me to say, hey, can you meet me there? Let me in the building. So, I did that. Watch and see what happens. What is going on, you? You, you, you. I okay, let's put it this way. All of YouTube, what's going on? It is the piano guy, your boy, and I am standing outside. You see somebody behind me? I hope so, because he called me this morning. If he wants to get in, he has to get in this video. Not only him. Oh, no. If you want to get in, the, in this building, you got to get in this video. <laughs> What's up, man? What's up, What's up everybody? Happy, uh... Memorial Day. Happy Day. Memorial Day. It's Monday. Memorial Day. This is Adam and Quavo. Quavo? Yeah. What's going on? Okay. I'm going to come on this side and they're going to say something that's just so mind boggling or whatever. Oh, Quavo. <laughs> Quavo's like, oh no, man. Come on, man. <laughs> hey, Adam, tell tell your buddy what this uh this vlog is, my video stuff are about. Sneakers. Sneakers? Yeah. 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 Boo y'all. Boo y'all. That's what. <laughs> that's what it's about. It's about the shoes, baby. Join eight Chromes. Yeah. Sneaker struggles. So now, not only if you want to get in, you have to subscribe to my channel. Hey. I'm already subscribed. Adam's already subscribed. That's what bribes are all about. That's what bribes are all about. Oh, he's trying to get some shoes out of the deal. Wait a minute. No, no, no. Keys. All right. You wanted those bearings? He wanted those bearings, y'all. He wanted those bearings. What size you wear? 13, 14. 13, 14. Man, you're going to have to fight for them bearings because that's a really popular size. All right, no. Yeah. They got the space on me little. It's like Nike Shape 3 right now, bro. Space Jam 11. At Nike Factory. Which one? The 11s. Which Jordan. Nike Factory? Oh, the one at Bertrand. For 179. The Space Jam 11? Yes. Or the, uh, or yes. the uh, 11 Low Columbia? No, the Space Jam 11s. Oh. All black with the uh, purple Jordan sign. Oh, I need to drive up there. With the, yeah. with the clear bottom? Yes, bro. Like right now? 179, bro. Like right now? Yes, 179. You're the mission. Space, space <laughs> up, space you up. know where I will be at 10 o'clock. Oh my god. I can't believe that. Space up. I was just there Saturday. Okay, oh, so I'm bad. opening the door. So bad. Let me see. Which key is it? Really? Yes. They got ice. Really? Yes. Oh. <laughs> oh. Is this the right key? Yeah, that's the right key. Man, he got me nervous talking about the Space Jam 11s or at Birch Run. I can't even hardly get my key in the door. <laughs> so, did you see that? I was planning on going to Walmart to check on some more cases for my shoes. But, when I ran into him, Adam, and his buddy, I figured, what? Space Jam 11s at Birch Run? So, I altered my plans, right? altered my plans now I gotta go and check out what's at Birch Run so what do you think happened next wait a minute everybody there is a slight detour in that master plan that I just told you about you probably see an unrecognizable face behind me maybe I don't know can you see well let me back up rewind first of all I'm sitting in a car that is not my own. 
it is the lady behind me. It's her vehicle, and I'll tell you who she is in a minute. But look who's driving. <laughs> Tara Johnson. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Tara Johnson is driving. Does that lady behind me look familiar? You need a closer look? You actually can see me? Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Lord Jesus. Oh, yeah. They can see you. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> we have brought into the sneaker struggle world <laughs> of <laughs> the piano guy and Tara Johnson, the mother of Tara Johnson. We would just call her Tara Johnson's mother. <laughs> Say hello, Tara Johnson's mother. Hello, everybody. Uh, all right. <laughs> Do you know what this channel is about? What my vlog is about? Uh-uh. No, I don't. It's about sneakers. Oh, gotcha. So you know what that means? That means Tara has never, ever shown her mother a video that she's in. <laughs> so she has no idea what she's gotten herself into. But there is a master plan that I have not told Tara or the mother of Tara Johnson about. But they will find out. First of all, you know how we do it. <laughs> man, I'm hungry, man. I'm hungry. <laughs> you know how we do it. So is the mother of Tara yes, Johnson. I'm hungry. We're going to Cracker Barrel. Ooh. They have my favorite dish there. Ooh. I am going to eat good. <laughs> I'm just so happy right now. Can you feel the love? <laughs> I feel the love. By the way, Tara Johnson has moved farther away from the piano guy. I'm not happy about that, but <laughs> I got to do what I got to do, right? So her mother came all the way. I mean, all. I'm talking about A-L-L -L, all the way from a place far, far away. No, it's not Kansas. You cannot click your heels and go back there. It is Milwaukee, Wisconsin. All the way from Milwaukee just to help Tara move to her new place, which is farther away. I'm going to keep throwing it out there. Uh -huh. <laughs> you, but it is close to her job, so that's yeah. a good thing. It is close to work. Yeah, you decided to move to no man's land. I moved there first. Yeah, but it's still no man's land. You no, just who, moved yesterday. Who moves north, y'all? Who moves north? Like, you go up north to, like, go, really? like, hanging out Did and stuff like that. you just ask all these people like, who moves up north? A whole like, who lot does that? <laughs> just, about, just about everybody, except when no. they, especially when they retire. No, you, you, yeah, you move up there, like, when you, you uh, retire or to go have fun. You don't just, just move up there, like, right. while you work and, and I want my whole life to be about having fun. I want my whole life to feel like I retired. So I moved north into the country. I have three acres, and I love it. And I don't care what Tara Johnson says, but yes, people move north. And I love it, too. And who else loves it? Mom loves it. She loves it. Loves it, loves it, loves it. What amenities do you like for, uh, best? What are your favorite parts? What am I saying? The whole thing that's out from away from everybody. Yeah. One thing. I love the, uh, I just love it. It's a, a, a nice house. It's not huge. It's just my size. <laughs> Ooh, yes. So she appreciates that I've moved north. Yes. And that I am away from all the hustle and bustle, but yet I'm still three minutes away. Mm, yeah, about three minutes away from the downtown area of this, the, the town that I live in. So Tara is on her phone driving. I want the whole yeah. world to see that, <laughs> right? Close on this car because that is a no-no, <laughs> and she's driving like within like two feet of the vehicle in front of us. You know, I don't know if she has a death wish or what it is. But I am just, me and, and Tara Johnson's mother are like really stressing right now. <laughs> Tara, do you have anything else to say? Anything? I'm just hungry. Hungry? She didn't say, she said hungry. <laughs> Y'all know how small Tara is? Tara eats more than a bear. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was gonna say a cow in a day. <laughs> That's why I can chase those bears down in those sneakers that I showed y'all because Tara eats more than a bear. They don't have no food left, so they be they be they be they be deprived of energy. <laughs> they can't hardly run. <laughs> Alright, so check this out. 
we're going to hit uh, breakfast and while we're at breakfast I'm going to then tell them about the master plan you all know this is a detour they don't know that I've already filmed something this morning so they have no clue as to what's going on as Tara usually doesn't know anything until I start filming all right, <laughs> all right check in with you in a minute so now I was about to go to Birch Run and guess what happened Tara called actually Tara's mother called and they are hungry and they want to get food so now I gotta squeeze in breakfast before I go to Birch Run Cracker Barrel Cracker Barrel Like, you I sure? still got, like, you know, my dad in me, like, because he like Cracker Barrel, and this is like my spot too, definitely. Blueberry pancakes over here. Uh, blueberry pancakes. Oh my uh, goodness. Yes. This is the bomb, y'all. <laughs> there are some happy people sitting at this table right now. Happy, happy, happy. And blueberry pancakes, man. Don't knock it till you try it if y'all saying ew. The only problem I got with this whole scenario here at this table is I got the poke. She got the poke. And Tara gonna get some turkey sausage. Don't knock it. How do you make sausage out of with a turkey? Seriously? Come on, man. That's, that's gotta be a pig. You know, it's got to be a pig. So check this out. Now I'm about to... Yeah, now I'm about to tell them, you know, what I'm trying to hold it back from them. You know, I let them get through breakfast, because when you feed people, you can pretty much tell them anything, and they'll be like, okay. <laughs> not what? This one, not today. <laughs> you still sleepy? She's still sleepy. Don't she look sleepy? Yeah, she looks sleepy. So, we are going to Birch Run, because I heard, hey. yes we are, right up the road. Right up the road. Am I pointing the right direction? That way. Because I heard that they might have some Space Jam 11 for <laughs> My buddy, I love that one. That was awesome. <laughs> but yeah, because I heard they might have some Space Jam 11 for So I got to at least go see. You ain't got nothing else to do. I got to do your house. You got to do your house. Like, we're going to yeah. spend all Memorial Day doing your house. What about your mom? No, we're going to get a job so I can visit my... Family, the rest of the okay, well, we'll run the first run real quick, okay. and then y'all can go to y'all house, okay. and you can drop me back at home. No, you did. Did you see that look on her? Did y'all see it? Yes, I rolled oh my eyes. My Definitely. God, I've never in 13 years ever seen that facial expression. <laughs> I'm surprised. Wow. Okay, let's go. Birch run. Here we come. Birch run. Well, can you see the look on my face, the expression of despair? I am back in the car, Tara's mother's driving, and I'm basically driving down the road of desperation and rejection because I missed out on the Space Jam 11s. They had them there on Saturday, and of course when the word got out, they sold out the same day. They had Space Jam 11s at the Nike outlet in Birch Run for $179.99 and my sneaker gut didn't even tell me. My internal sneaker gut did not even tell me that they had those shoes there. It wasn't working. 
I don't know what happened. The look of anguish. Do you believe that? Do you believe that? I can't believe it. I know that the Space Jam 11s were at Birch Run on Saturday. They got 114 pair of Space Jam 11s and some kind of way I was totally oblivious to that fact. So, I did pick up something. It's not nowhere near a Space Jam 11. I think it's a dope cop, but rather than tell you about it, let me show you what I picked up. Well, as you see, I did not get the Space Jam 11s. I really am disappointed about that, more than I could tell you. But I did pick up the Nike Air, the uh, Air Max Tavis. And so, it's dope cop. Show them to you. Man, I don't know how some of you guys do this with one hand. This is not easy to do. <laughs> but yeah, here they are. Air Max Tavis. They're dope, man. You know, I tried them on before. I had been looking at them. Something different that I don't have already. Um, they have this uh, nice, I don't know what type of material. This almost feels like a cloth type material that's right here on the toe box feels like a cloth and then it's overlaid with this like plastic coating that's right in here coming around here just above the midsole right there and then it comes around the swishes attached to it but it's like a fused on like plastic material that's over the cloth the cloth is exposed right here and then uh, you have the midsole that's not like completely white the swish is not like completely white it's almost like an off-white eggshell color Around the back, you got the Nike Air on the back, on the mustache right there. And this is like a, um, uh, it feels like a, uh, like a new buck type material almost. Like right here on the quarter section, right here. And then around the, the back of the shoe and around here. It feels like, 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 like some type of nylon type. I hate to say nylon because it feels almost like it's a new buck type material. But on the insole right there, if you can see it, it says Nike with the swoosh on it right there on the insole. Nike here, Nike Air Max Tavis, the name of the shoe right there. You can see that. The Army Green, that's what I call it, Army Green like laces. The tongue and the throat in that army green nylon type material. Um, the outsole is black and white. It says Nike right there. But I think it's a dope, dope uh, sneaker, man. I think it's a dope shoe. Um, I definitely don't have anything like this in this army green type uh, colorway. So I actually really like them. But is it a <laughs> is it a Space Jam 11? Absolutely not. Far from it. It's not a Space Jam 11. And I did get them for a good price, as you saw at the store. Um, $54.99. Uh, retail price is $95. I got them for $54.99, size 10, and they were 30% off. So I got them for, I think it would tax, it was like $40.80, I think it was. So, uh, yeah, but it's not Space Jam 11s. So I got to move on. I got to get over it. You know, it kind of feels like a break, a bad breakup, you know, when you're dating somebody for six months, thinking that you got a future together and that you're going to build a life together and possibly one day get married and have children. And then all of a sudden, you know, you go to pick her up from her house one day and they say she's gone. That's how I feel about getting there two days after the Space Jam 11s were there and sold out the same day on Saturday. So, thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, comment, press that notifications bell. This is the Piano Guy. You know what it is. You know how I do it. We're having a great time together. I'm enjoying this experience. All of you, my subscribers, hey, if you're watching me for the first time, 
Let's jump on board. Let's get to that 500. That's the next goal. Then after that, a thousand. So subscribe to my channel, especially if you like the content I'm bringing. Make sure you press that thumbs up like button. And this is the Piano Guy. Till next time.